Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Mr. B here with Montezuma Martial Arts Academy out of Dolores, Colorado. So today we are going to be talking about the Kata Seuj. Uh, this is something that my students need to promote from their blue to their green belt um, part, part way through. So they've got their towel on their blue belt, they're feeling really good, they're getting ready to promote. Uh, they need to know Seunshin. Seunshin is one of my favorites. Um, and any of you, any of you that have been a big fan of the Karate Kid or Cobra Kai in recent years are going to recognize this kata as this is the one that Daniel practices in Karate Kid 2 when he goes to Okinawa. And then of course, like he does bits and pieces of this like through the series of Cobra Kai. So, but the, the, this, the, this kata is the one that I, I've always enjoyed. Uh, for people that aren't particularly talented kickers, uh, me right here, uh, this kata doesn't have any kicks in it, but what makes this kata awesome to perform is that it has a lot of tempo changes, um, also gives you the opportunity to focus on your intensity through your breathing. We'll get through all of that here in just a minute. But for now, let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring myself in. Uh, when you're doing this kata, this kata goes forward pretty aggressively to start, and then it'll kind of start, but um, it stays like it doesn't wander too much to your right or your left. It stays pretty evenly on this front side. But you do want to remember that if you're doing this kata in competition, um, it moves forward really aggressively to start and then starts to move back towards the center. So you want to give yourself plenty, plenty of plenty of breath on that front end um, if you're performing in front of judges so that you don't end up in your judging panel space. All right, so from here, However you decide to courtesy in our classroom, it is just a simple courtesy. We don't do anything much more elaborate than that. Then from here, you're gonna go ahead and move your right foot out into a back stance, okay? So perpendicular angle on the legs, and then I'm looking for a nice deep stance. From here, you're just gonna demonstrate your mountain block. Nice, easy, just looks like a triangle here. You're gonna go ahead and scoop up into a double spear. You're gonna do a double downward walk. You're gonna do an outside rich hand, remember solid right hand here, outside parry, and then you're gonna just push that spear into the diaphragm. We're gonna do this three times. Now on the left, we pull, we drop, we block, parry, and spear. This is my left side for those of you keeping notes at home. We're gonna move one more time to the right, okay? Double spear, double down, ridge, parry, and spear. From here, we're gonna push that right hand out, we're gonna grab, we're gonna pull back into the screen stance as we slap right foot forward seam, sanction stance, as we punch into the pit of the stomach. From here, we're gonna step back, we're gonna grab, rising elbow here, asai, okay, or a nice loud ki, whichever you're calling it. Then from here, we're gonna see step up on this 45, and we're gonna do a reinforced outward block here. Now, my left foot is gonna move in. I'm gonna hit a nice hammer fist into the groin. Then I'm gonna go ahead and slide back on the same line, and I'm gonna do my downward block. C-step up, reinforce outward block to the left. Okay, then I move in, right hammer fist to the groin, right downward block with the left. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop straight back here, horse stance sideways, and we're gonna do what we do in archer's block, okay? So we're blocking a kick right up over the top, and then we're shooting this inverted heel palm into the groin. We're gonna do two of those. One, and then two. Now I'm gonna go ahead and attack going forward. Son shin stance, inside hammer fist, step drag into another son shin here, and then I'm gonna back and go into the face, asai. Now, this is where everybody likes to get messed up, okay, is on this cross. So the, the move is to turn into a sun shin on this rear 45. So instead of stepping over, because you want your left foot in front, what I like to do is I like to cross and turn my foot so that my heel is coming in, kind of like a rear crossover. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and unspin, and now I should be in a perfectly measured off Sanchez stance to this rear 45. I'm then gonna go ahead and present with my left 
left hand high and my right hand as a down block. I'm going to rake down as I begin to move through into this horse stance. I'm going to do an upper uppercut, back angle, hammer fist, and then I'm going to clear everything away with this downward block. Now, from here, I'm going to lift my left hand up. As you can see, I'm starting to move back towards my center line. Okay? I'm going to hit my cat stance, and I should be standing up just a little bit to save a pop. Boom! Here for this double elbow. This is an elbow straight back, and this is an inward elbow across. I'm going to stomp, raise up, and drop. From here, there's my little twist, okay? So not here, not here. I'm going to turn that foot in. So when I present, now my right foot is forward, and my song shin stance should be perfectly measured. Okay, right hand high, left hand low. I'm going to rate as I begin to move through, uppercut, back knuckle, hammer fist into the groin, and then clear everything away with a downward walk. From here, I'm going to stand up as I lift, and drop. Stomp, up, drop. I'm going to clear with my left hand. Step drag forward, hammer fist is my final offside. Now, this is probably one of my favorite parts in the whole cut. This is a defense against uh, Full Nelson. I'm going to slide back into my left cat. I'm going to hit this prisoner position right here. I'm going to pull my elbows in and present my downward block low. I'm going to go ahead, palms up, knees bent, straighten it out, and courtesy. Now, depending on where you're at, step left to get back to center, okay, step right. We can talk about how to adjust some of those stances um, to get you right back to center. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about it from this angle over here. So again, Sengun Shin, boom, here, right foot first, one, two, three, four, left foot, one, two, three, four, push, one, two, three, four, one, two, Three, higher, present, left hammer, right down, present, right hammer, left down, straight back into this archer's block, straight back, good, advance, hammer fist, back and bolt, offside, twist, present, left in front, Rake as we move through. One, two, three, four. Lift, drop, drop, present. Move through. Two, and four. Up, back, back. Pause. Higher. Step back. Push. Now, you should have kind of got an idea of where I like to speed up and where I really like to slow down, okay? So we're gonna do this one more time, competition speed. And I'm gonna show you exactly where I like to speed up and where I like to slow down. A lot of it is on those explosive hand motions, okay? So particularly on this punch, this elbow, okay? And then through here, this uppercut, boom, like, those should be done lightning fast. Now, even though this kata has a lot of variations in tempo, at the end of this, you should still be breathing pretty heavily. Like this should take you right to the to the max of your heart rate. So at the end of your any kata, any, I don't care what you're doing. If you're competing, if you're demonstrating for an exam, like the end of kata should be like you just sprinted at 50 yards, okay, 50 to 100 yards. Like you should just be heart pumping out of your chest. All right, so one more time, Seiyunshin, nice and heavy.
So, for those of you looking to compete with this con, I hope that that helped. Not just the walkthrough, but seeing where to speed up and slow down. Also, where to adjust your stances, okay? So that way you're measured off and you're not making adjustments as you present. You're making your adjustments in the transition. All right, guys, until next time, train hard, fight fast, score first. Awesome.